Hello everyone, peace out, eight hour. Do -do, do -do. Good morning. The fridge is kicking off a right uh, sound at the moment because even though I bought a new fridge, it's broken. So I hope that's not too distracting. So for today's video, we are going to be trying foods I've never tried before. Now, I cannot get enough of trying new foods as we've all established in my videos. I love it. I just think there's something so fun exploring foods and I thought why not do a whole video around that and I believe there's been quite a few people that have done this. I feel like it was a trend a few years ago. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure. So I'll link them down below. So I went to a store yesterday and picked up lots of bits which I'll include now. Hi, so we're about to go to Waitrose to pick up some foods because I feel like out of all the supermarkets, Waitrose is one I don't come to because uh, mum always shops at Tesco's and Sainsbury's. So out of all the food that I've never tried before, Waitrose will have it. Also they have bougie food that is just like you've never tried before, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to go in. I do have a rough guess of what some things that we can pick up but i'm hoping there's going to be a surprise like a nice little pudding so let's go to waitrose and have a good time it's a bit popping off in here and the thing is i don't know what vegetable to get because i won't know i feel like mum really acquainted me with all the veg when i was younger purple carrots. is there some we have fennel here and i don't even know how you prepare that but i'm taking it what even is it is it a herb and what is that what is it? An earthy, nutty it's an onion, onion squash. squash. Oh, that's going straight in my basket, isn't it? Spaghetti, Spaghetti squash. squash. That's the one they have in America. Now we are in the fruit section now, and I do actually feel like fruit, I don't have many fruits covered in my small palette. Um, but they don't really have many here. Like I want to try like star fruit. This is so fun, looking for things you've never had before. I was then trying to find a sauce for my dinner, which was actually kind of tricky. I also really, really struggled trying to find breakfast options because I feel like I've tried every single cereal and every sort of pastry and bread that is available in English supermarkets. I was really tempted by the lobster, but then I didn't want to mess it up and then have a really bad experience of the lobster considering it was 10 whole pounds. There was also chili chocolate, but it had dairy in, so I couldn't try that. There are so many things that I really, really wanted to try. I'm finding breakfast the tricky. I really wanted to find potato thins, but I literally can't find them anywhere. I don't even know if they have them. We kind of have the bulk of everything. I feel like I could get a fun jam or something. Oh my gosh, look at all these jams. This, this apple and cinnamon just made me realise how uncultured my palate is. There are just so many things I want to try. So many things I could do in this video. I'm actually going to have a little appetizer before my brekkie gets started. I'm going to have a nice little fruit salad. Be a domesticated goddess and start the morning with fruit because there are lots of fruit that I haven't actually tried before. I really wanted to get loads of fun fruit. So I'm going to make a fruit salad. Here we have gooseberries, which dad said if they're ripe, they are. They do look like little brains. Do you see that? Kind of looks like a brain. Oh, it makes me really uncomfortable. It looks like veins coming out of it. I really don't like that. It makes me feel funny. Kiwi berries, which actually kind of look similar to the gooseberries, but they just don't have the, the rank veins. Um, yellow kiwis. Let's try it before I make it into a fruit salad. It reminds me of something. I really think it's unpleasant. It kind of looks like alien eggs. Really don't like it. It's got like little tiny eggs in there. I don't like the appearance of it, but the taste is fine. Let's go for a kiwi berry. Weird. It really does just taste like a kiwi. Now, is that genetically modified or is that just a real life fruit? Looks like a baby kiwi. Can't they make all fruits into berry shapes? Like imagine a berry banana. What about like a berry apple, berry plum. Guys, we could be over something. I feel like Quinn in Zoe 101. You remember when she made a banana apple? Look how weird that is. Wow, that is better than a kiwi. It's so sweet. I've come outside to have a little civilized fruit salad. Just to get my morning started. This is fun. Already I'm having a great time. For real life brekkie, I was gonna do boiled quail eggs on Irish potato cakes. However, they didn't have any potato cake. So we thought on our feet and we thought, hmm, what's like a breakfast option? I feel like I have got most breakfast foods down. Apart from, I don't know if these are breakfast food or if they're a snack. I've never had a Welsh cake. I've made Welsh cakes, but I've never tried one. And we've obviously got, where are my quail eggs? <laughs> quail eggs. I'm actually gonna have to look at a tutorial on how to do like a boiled quail egg. Oh, I kind of want to do it like a dippy egg, but I don't have any bread that I've never tried before. Look at them, they're so pretty. They're like marbled. Just to put them in the boiling water for two and a half minutes, all on the same spoon. All on the spoon, in you go. Whoa! It has been the two minutes 20. 
into the ice water they go. Whenever you eat something for the first time, you don't know how to eat it. And this just says served hot or cold. Do I toast it? No. You just eat it like that? Yeah. Okay, so I have my little tiny baby eggs. They're so cute, mum. I'm obsessed with they them. They are very cute. Look at that. Okay, let's try and peel it. How t weird. I want to meet a quail. Don't peel it with birds. You live on grassland and heather land. And Look how tiny this is. I got the hang of peeling this in the end. I just want to try the egg. Obviously, I'll have it with like salt and pepper with breakfast, but I just want to dry it. Oh, that's even nicer than an egg. It's like richer. Yeah, well, yeah, richer. The yolk is like rich. Fermenting in the quail's bottom. Really cooked with some everything but the bagel seasoning. For my drink for brekkie, I've got something fun and fresh to try. You might want some of this, Chloe. Look, Mum, you're like this. Apple raspberry and rhubarb juice. Ooh, How exotic! Nice sour edge to it. And here we have our random breakfast to try. Let's try the juice. The junk. I'm not really getting any rhubarb now. It's just like apple and raspberry. Mm. That's pretty good. When it's warm, it tastes like a scone. It's actually really nice. Good eye. Good eye. Mm, they should be warmed. That was delicious, that Welsh cake. Hello, it's morning snack time. And as you found the snack category, there are many, many snacks. Because there's always a new snack on the market. And I love a snack. Grab snacks, you know how it be. But I thought I'd try something that I've always wanted to try and I've never tried. Peanut butter and almond popcorn. Because I love peanut butter. I love almonds. And I love popcorn. So surely this is going to be uh, maybe a new fave snack. Let's try her out. No. Well, well, oh. I think I actually can get behind this. If I'm honest, I think I prefer salted popcorn. Actually, the more you eat, the more moorish it gets. Flipping it. This is so moorish. Wow. For lunch, we're actually going to a restaurant. We're going to Bill's. It's my sister's birthday. I'm gonna have to try and get something that I've never got before. I'm essentially, I'm maybe thinking of a Wellington, a vegan Wellington. What even is that? Hi, we're at Bill's now. <laughs> but, but go again. It's Start actually quite tricky. Right here, right, right, right. <laughs> Hi, we're at Bill's now. I had to pick something that I've never tried before. I picked dumplings that I've never had. And sea bass because I've never had sea bass before. Yeah. Yay, and I just went more because I don't like You drinks. should have a different drink. That's what you should do. I had it for breakfast. And if you have a drink like that and you don't like it, then I can try it. it. No, 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 don't have it. Just have it. You might have some alcohol. You won't like this it. This is ginger you hate it. and fizzy. There's no chance you'll like that. It's lovely. He's like, no, he's like, oh, well, you get that, that and then I can have it. Well, What's this? Raspberry Prosecco or something? Raspberry Spritz. Do that cake. It's called Hedgehog. I don't like it. Oh wow. I actually thought I was getting the type of dumplings that you get in a stew, but they're actually goyoza. So I have had goyoza before, but I've never had Bill's goyoza, and it was incredible. Do you have that again, Grace? Mm hmm. Something to see what this tastes like. It's really nice, Grace. For my main course, I got sea bass and a herb and potato rosti. And again, it was really, really nice. I probably wouldn't have got it normally, but it's always good to try new things and I enjoyed it. Why would you not? Oh my gosh. Just look at the... Oh. Okay, so we just had dinner. What did you think of your meal? It was very good. Are you, Dad's really proud of the chair that he's just bought. And I'm actually, Starbucks have just launched a new 10 pounds bargain. Sitting outside every shop. I am about to try a new Starbucks drink called the peanut butter cup. Peanut butter. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I encountered a problem that the stall won't fit. I haven't even tried the drink yet. So we've got the chair on us and now I'm going to try the new peanut butter cup. Thing is right, I tried just about everything in Starbucks I feel like in my time. So I'm going to try something new. Literally launched two days ago or something. So, it's interesting. <laughs> what is it? Oh, a peanut butter, isn't it, you said? What else is in it apart from peanut, peanut butter? Peanut butter cup. Well, it's quite nice. It's salty. It's Mm. This is me continuing to film even though I literally wasn't saying anything. 
think I was just going for the vibes. I don't know what's happening here. I literally was filming for ages. So we have had a wonderful time out and now I'm about to have my dinner. I've seen people always have gnocchi and I think it looks really, really good. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. But I've heard really mixed reviews lately, so I don't actually know if it is. And I found it so hard to pick a sauce to have. I feel like I've tried every single sauce that's available in England, like tomato and basil, carbonara, all those like mascarpone, those sorts of ones. And then I found rose harissa pesto. I don't know if this is actually like a thing, but it says our signature rose harissa. We're gonna cook this. It only takes one minute to cook the gnocchi. So I'm absolutely pumped about that. I forgot about my spaghetti squash and fennel. I haven't even tried these guys. This is spaghetti squash is that thing. What actually are you gonna do with it, Grace? I don't know. This has honestly been one of my new fave videos because I love trying new things. But I feel like I should have tried more basic things, but then I feel, right, I've, I've tried a lot of food, but maybe I haven't, but maybe I have. Do you want to try some gnocchi? No. Oh. oh, you can pan fry it. Pan fried or boiled? I have no idea because I've not had it. I'm gonna pan fry it. Change of plan, people, change of plan. I wanna try it properly done though. Like I wanna to go to a nice Italian restaurant. I feel like I'm doing this wrong and people in the comments are gonna be like, what are you doing? Okay, this is what it looks like. Oh. And then I'm gonna add in the pesto. I'm gonna smell it. It's the smell test. Is it gonna taste like rose? It smell like. Oh my gosh, that smells incredible. Oh my gosh, it just smells like sun dried tomato. Let's just see. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. This kind of looks like it's, it's an absolute delight. Here it is. Kind of looks amazing and literally took about three seconds to cook. Do you know what I feel like I'm the guy in Ratatouille? You know, when he has his fork and he's like. takes him back to a memory then I don't have any memory of this because I've never had it before you know what I'm saying I've obviously had normal basil pesto but never harissa pesto I'm just saying I've got no memory of this this reminds me of something and I don't know if it's the gnocchi or the pesto that's kind of delicious it's weird because it just melts in your mouth but then it's also got that texture there the texture's like mozzarella-y that's how I compare it to. This is kind of amazing, actually. You know what, I'm really sad that I forgot about this guy because I was gonna do this with some of the pesto because apparently, if you cook this, it goes like spaghetti on the inside. They're like the texture turns into spaghetti. I've never had fennel. What do you even do with this? Oh my gosh, it looks like monster's fingers. Doesn't that? This is great. Mmm, wow. Well, that was absolutely delectable. It tasted like I was really in Italy. Oh with the ocean slapping against the shore. Slapping? Swishing? What's the word that people, slopping? There's a word that people use to like, slapping against the shore. Anyway, now for dessert. I feel like this is one of those things that I think I've never had before, but then maybe I have, but it's not in my memory. So that could either mean I didn't have a good impression of it, or I had it like years and years and years ago. But the thing is, I've never actually tried this brand ever. So this is, Look at it, it looks incredible. This is a cookies and cream cheesecake and it is vegan. So I've never had this. I've never had cheesecake because none of my family like it. So we've never had it because no one in our family likes it. You know what I mean? So like why would my mum buy it if no one likes it? And in my head I don't like it because they all don't like it. So I've never tried it for myself. Um, and this company just brought out a vegan cookies and cream. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's got real love Oreos in there. We have got, oh by the way, I picked a spot, don't mind that. Um, there were actually a wide, wide array of ice creams that I've never tried before. Because Waitrose have got all the like fancy ones, like the vegan bougie ones. But this looked the most intriguing and the most intriguing for you guys. Avocado and coconut ice cream. Is it going to be green? We shall see. It looks calming and cleansing. I'm going to try and do the perfect scoop. One of my dreams in life is to work in an ice cream shop. That's a pretty good scoop. So we're going to have some cheesecake and some ice cream. So we try the ice cream first to cleanse the palate. It just tastes like coconut because it's avocado and coconut. Oh, okay. And I'm not the biggest coconut. But for someone who likes coconut, this would be solid. It's quite cleansing. Right, let's give this cheesecake a go. That's very yummy. I enjoy that because there's a lot of textures. If you look at it, we've got the crunchy base and that is thick. And then the little moussey bit and then the cookies. 
That works really well. Let's try it with the, with the ice cream, double whammy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the ice cream. You would not know it's got avocado in it. It's very light and refreshing. Hey party people, so I have just been on TikTok and I think it's time for a snack, okay? It's evening snack time and I could do with the crisp, but I haven't bought any. My crisp and cereal uh, trying is clearly quite high, but then I turned around and I saw these mint Oreos. This could either be the best thing I've ever tried or the worst thing I've ever tried. Oh, wait, no, it smells incredible. It smells like after eight. Oh my gosh, it's really green. I don't actually like eating in my bed, but we're here now. So, um, the mint ones actually come apart. Right, I'm going to try the mint cream. That's nice. Mmm. It tastes a little bit like toothpaste. I feel like it's got, it just tastes like a, like a peppermint cream. I love it. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, this is my new favorite snack. What? I'm actually obsessed. I'm gonna try it all oh, let's try it all together. Let's do a bite. Let's be This has changed the game. The mint cream is just peeling off. Like a little tiny roll, a little Swiss roll. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a clean Oreo in all my life. It's a little bit later now and you thought I was finished, but I just went into the kitchen and I found these. Now I have actually had hip peas before, but I have had the salt and vinegar flavour and they are now, I would never go for a sweet and smoking flavour personally, but my auntie bought them for us and I thought I would try them because this is the whole point. I've never tried this flavour. Hip peas are so fab. The salt and vinegar or the like lightly salted one is so good. Smell test. It smells like a barbecue. That was exactly what I needed. Mmm. They taste like something. They're like woody. I will say I prefer the salt and vinegar. These are so good. The texture is incredible. I love these and I haven't stopped eating them. I'm really getting through them. Um, highly recommend. Oh, I can't stop eating them. They're too good. Anyway, peace out. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out, everyone.